In 1985, the Golden Girls made their debut. And the gold standard in the NFL resided in the Golden Gate City. The San Francisco 49ers had won their second Super Bowl in four years. In the 85 draft, they then selected a receiver who would become the best in NFL history. I owed everything to Bill Walsh. I don't know what my life would have been if he hadn't taken that chance with me. Bill Walsh's selection of Jerry Rice from little-known Mississippi Valley State was a touch of genius, but also a stroke of luck, beginning with how Walsh discovered Rice in the first place. He was uh, overnight playing the Houston Oilers, and it was a Saturday night before the game, and he was bored, and he turned on the local news, and they were playing the highlights, and he couldn't believe this one guy was lighting it on fire. The book said he'd only run a 4 7 40. But what my dad saw was that he had tremendous speed from 15 yards to 50 yards, like he'd never seen before. My dad was already crafting plays before they drafted him on what he could do in this West Coast offense. Five step drop. He engaged in his typical masterful strategy, and he concluded that what we have to do in 1985 is not accumulate a lot of players. We have to find the strategic player. And he made it clear that that was going to be our draft. He had three receivers that he felt could fit the role that he was seeking to fill, which was that dominant, dominant offensive player that's going to really enhance our offense. And they were Eltoon, Eddie Brown, and this guy from Mississippi Valley State, Jerry Rice. One of our most prominent scouts I mean, this is a fellow that everybody respected, and his track record was pretty darn good. Felt Jerry Rice was no better than a sixth-round pick. As defending champs, the 49ers had the 28th overall pick. Bill Walsh recognized early on that staying at 28 was going to be very, very damaging and very dangerous. And no matter what some people in the league felt, Bill was convinced these three receivers are going to be gone long before 28. So he knew the only way to get one of the three was to move up. Bernie Kosar's favorite receiver at the University of Miami, Eddie Brown, was expected to be picked near the top. I was projected to be really number two behind Bruce Smith. Fifth pick went by, and at that moment, you're sweating. You you don't have the faintest idea of what's going on. Even on ESPN, you know, they were saying, what, what did Eddie Brown do? I'm, I'm choking because the three wide receivers are still here. I never thought this would happen. This is the big up upset with the draft. Eddie Brown's going to go in this pick. I mean, I'm, I'm going on the record. Eddie Brown has got to go in this pick. pick. Four more picks and still no Brown, or any receiver. As the time goes, the speculation continues, Jim. It's, it's mystifying. I mean, going into the draft, you had the three best wide receivers maybe ever in, in the draft. If I were the 49ers, I'd jump in here in a minute. The scuttlebutt around is that San Francisco and the New England Patriots are trying to work out a deal. Because San Francisco would be picking 28th. The Patriots are scheduled to pick 16th. The Jets pick 10th. Eddie Brown. The fans, the fans are screaming for Eddie Brown. The Jets pick. The tenth choice in the first round, offensive receiver, wide receiver, Al Toon. I told you this. Was <laughs> I'll tell you, something bad about Eddie Brown must have come out last night. What did he do? Eddie Brown, you know, he could, he, guy could be a choir boy, you know, but there were some questions as to what was going on in his background. And maybe someone was starting rumors out there. I can't imagine who. This rumor got out about me going to the USFL. And it was crazy. It really wasn't true. Not one inkling of knowledge of who started that rumor. Bill Walsh said that he would trade the first three rounds of the, his first three rounds of the draft to get Eddie Brown. Well, here he is. He's got a shot. Bill got to work on New England. We became number 16. 
But Walsh wanted to move up even further. The Bengals were on the clock at 13. Walsh's old friend, former assistant Sam Weish, was now Cincinnati's head coach. I'm in Cincinnati, Bill's in San Francisco. He calls me about 30 seconds on the clock. Part of the call, I think, was to see if uh, he'd be willing to trade that pick. But I think the other half of the call was to, to further try to evaluate whether Sam was interested in Eddie Brown. Bill Walsh said, how about flipping with us and let San Francisco go first, and then you can grab whoever you want. And I said, Bill, we're looking at Eddie Brown, the wide receiver from Miami. Bill said, that's the guy we want. You know, you know, you could, they got another good receiver named Jerry Rice. He's, you, he'll still be there, so you'll have Jerry Rice, but Eddie Brown really fits our offense. And I said, well, we're running the same offense, <laughs> only we don't huddle up, but we're running the same offense. And, and we won Eddie Brown, so he offered me a fifth. I, I said, if you'll give me a third, I'll do it. We came that close. With time running out, no deal was ever made. Cincinnati picks the 13th spot in the first round. The selection, wide receiver Eddie Brown from Miami of Florida. 49ers have to be sweating a little bit now. Now you figure San Francisco is a little bit worried. Bill got very nervous very nervous and he started going back into the film room and was trying to come up with a backup for Jerry Rice in case we missed him. But three picks later, Rice was still there. The San Francisco 49ers select 16th pick in the first round. Wide receiver Jerry Rice, Mississippi <laughs> Valley. <laughs> We were able to make a trade with New England, and we thought we had a chance, and I'll be darned if it didn't work out for us. I, I think you'll really be happy with it. Oh, I think I love it, ain't no doubt. Jerry had a great career. I mean, Hall of Fame career. My career was cut short. Injuries ended Brown's NFL career after seven seasons. In 1985, he was the Offensive Rookie of the Year. In 1988, he made it to the Pro Bowl, and the Bengals made it to the Super Bowl. Brown caught three passes for 32 yards. But in Walsh's final game as 49ers head coach, Rice had 11 catches for 215 yards. The 49ers won, and Rice was the MVP. Thank you for being a friend. What would have happened if L2, Eddie Brown, and Jerry Rice were all available. Bill Walsh might have thought Jerry was just a little bit too much of a gamble, and I'm not sure Bill would have taken Jerry, or maybe even just Eddie Brown were available. And they are the genius, <laughs> because they wouldn't give me a third round pick. I am happy for you like I've never been, believe me.